Hi Internet, it's Peter. It's been a long time, I shouldn't have left you without a dope video to step to. I come to you on the eve of Free Agency Day. It is going to be crazy tomorrow. The Capitals have $13 million to spend. There are not a lot of defensemen in the free agency class, and you can totally expect a couple general managers to spend way too much on goalies. Free agency is a lot of fun, but it's also a good time to take stock of where we stand. Last time we talked, Adam Oates had just been fired. Since then, Barry Trotz has been installed as coach from Nashville, and Brian McClellan has been installed as general manager from Washington. Trotz and McClellan have a number of decisions to make and it's important to know first why they need to make those decisions, what the problem is in the first place. So I prepared a number of charts to explain what the heck is going wrong. Let's start with the obvious stuff, the standings. The Capitals did not make the playoffs this season, they missed it by four points and they've been pretty much in decline since 2010. But that doesn't really tell us the whole story. In fact, if you were to look at this, you just think, oh, the Capitals are four points out of the playoffs, it's not so bad. Well, I, like Rafiki before me, am now urging you to- <sighs> Let's go to possession, which is basically the percentage of shot attempts each team gets during five on five when the score is close. You can see here that the Capitals have been in steady decline since 2009. In the last two seasons, the Capitals have basically been a bottom 10 or bottom five team in puck possession. That's the best predictor of future success we've got and it doesn't look good. Without good goaltending and good special teams, the Capitals would basically be around Edmonton and Calgary in the standings and that's bad. If we break that down just into the number of shots the Capitals are allowing, you can see that number skyrocketing. For all the supposed weaknesses of the Boudreaux era team, they allowed far fewer shots against than the current Capitals do. This is probably a good time to point out that goaltending is not the problem. Save percentage hasn't really been an issue for the team since 2009. And with the addition of goaltending coach legend Mitch Korn, we should expect a lot of good stuff out of Braden Holby this season. The Capitals may choose to give Philip Grubauer more time at the big club, or they may choose to try to sign a free agent veteran goalie, perhaps and hopefully cheap, perhaps and hopefully not Martin Brodeur. But again, goaltending, not the problem. Back to the shots against. If you think about shots against, you usually think that that is the responsibility of the defenders on the team. And while the Capitals defensive squad is noticeably weak, that's not the whole story with the team this past season. That's because as the Boudreaux era caps told us, you allow fewer shots when you have the puck more, when you have higher puck possession scores. So let's break this into two parts based on the centerpiece of the Capitals team, Alex Ovechkin. When Alex Ovechkin's on the bench, the Capitals puck possession has gone off a cliff in the last few years. And I consider that their biggest problem during five on five. And when Ovechkin is playing, he has become far less effective. Both of those charts are really concerning, but there's reason for optimism here. With Barry Trotz, we may see a whole new body of tactics, a new system of play that would serve to hopefully un-oats the Capitals. It is my suspicion that the Capitals last season for all their defensive roster problems were far better than their performances, but there's something else going on here. If I had an analytics department at my beck and call, I would first task them with figuring out why everyone else has an awful shooting percentage when they're on the ice with Alex Ovechkin. Is this just really bad luck? Are they bad line mates? Or are they making tactical decisions that are hurting their chances to score? My hypothesis is that it's a combination of all three, but that third one, tactical adjustments will be the easiest to fix. And I want to underline that point. It's my personal belief that no team in the league is ever more than two or three years away from contending for a Stanley Cup if they do it right. And the Capitals don't have that much to do. They need a defensive roster upgrade. They need a replacement for Mikhail Grabowski on the second line if he's truly leaving. They need a better opposite winger for Alex Ovechkin. And they need to completely purge the Adam Oates system from their style of play. With $13 million of salary cap room and Barry Trotz as head coach, the Capitals could do an awful lot of that this summer. On the other hand, they could spend that money on Brooks Orpik and Martin Brodeur, in which case it's going to be a total S show next year. Either way, I'm really excited to find out because summer is just awful. Crash the net.